what's up everybody it's that white boy from the yard and i'm back at it again with another video today we're back with another enhanced question series with dr tony huge where him and i will be answering questions followers be sending me in on my instagram so thanks again for watching if you guys have any questions feel free to go out to my instagram and drop me a dm and me and tony will discuss all of these questions okay so the question of today is how strong is the injectable form of s23 which is sarmbalone compared to your oral form at a dosage of 30 milligrams a day and what kind of gains to expect tell us tony so what kind of gains would i expect in the injectable s23 version sarmbalone versus the oral sarmbalone uh, well first of all sarmbalone is not uh, generally known as a bulking uh, SARM. It's uh, more known as a cutting SARM, but it can be used for bulking. It's just that it increases the metabolism a lot, so caloric intake has to go up. What I noticed from my experiments where I was megadosing SARM balone or megadosing the S23 is that uh, I could actually lose weight on it and lose a lot of fat on it if I didn't keep my calories high and my muscles could go very flat and I could actually feel weak and carbohydrate depleted. So when I'm on S23, if I'm trying to build muscle with it, then I'm increasing my calories a lot. I'm also increasing my training intensity a lot because it improves stamina and strength in the gym and shortens the amount of time I need to rest between sets to get my energy back to do another set. So I can use it as a performance enhancement tool which then a byproduct of which is more muscle breakdown, more forcing my body to adapt by gaining more muscle, denser, harder, stronger muscle with more mind to muscle connection. Now specifically the difference between the oral and the injectable form is that the injectable form is always going to be more bioavailable. So for example, uh, 50 milligrams of the oral form might be like doing 30 milligrams of the injectable form. If it was just based on bioavailability, although you'd have to look up the exact percentage of bioavailable. But there's more to it than that. There's a lot more to it than that. It seems like the injectable versions are much stronger. I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, if you take 30 milligrams of S23, you get uh, oral, let's use that as the standard. Then you get 30 milligrams of oral S23 benefit, and you also get 30 milligrams of S23 side effects what we're seeing with the injectable is that if we take uh, 30 milligrams of injectable s23 sarmbalone specifically then we're seeing like 60 milligrams of s23 benefit with only 10 milligrams of s23 side effects so the the benefits to side effects is what really changes a lot with the injectable version because all of the oral versions are, are bioavailable the oral versions of all these sarms work it's just that with the injectable, we can go with a lower dosage for more effect and far less side effects. Uh, and then I can actually mega dose it easier with less side effects. So if I do wanna go extremely high dosage, like I've done 100 milligrams of injectable S23, then if I inject 100 milligrams of S23, I don't really feel any negative side effects other than the depletion of the carbohydrates in my muscle and the speeding up of my metabolism. Whereas if I take 100 milligrams of an oral, sometimes I feel a little bit of uh, almost like a fatigue, like a testosterone flu feeling uh, when I megadose on orals that I, and, I, and I don't get that on the injectable version. Okay, so what type of gains would we expect? Well, <clears throat> surprisingly, it's not more is better when it comes to Sarmbalone. Like I said, it increased the metabolism. If you, just like with any steroids, if you increase the dosage to a point where uh, you're creating actually a caloric deficit, then it's hard to put on muscle. You know, we've done experiments where we've taken huge amounts of steroids or we've tried uh, other people experimenting with huge amounts of steroids and see if they put on weight and they actually lose weight, right? So it's important to match the dosage of the Sarmbloner S23 to the actual amount of training and caloric intake. Uh, that being said, I think most people who are just gonna keep their same training and diet probably benefit the most from 30 milligrams of oral S23 or uh, between 10 and 30 milligrams of Sarmbalone. Uh, and then if they want to increase their calories, then that's where increasing the dosage makes sense. And it's to the point where as much calories we're seeing, as much calories as someone can consume, the, the more S23 or a very powerful Sarm they can take and gain muscle. But the big difference between these SARMs, Sarmbalone S23 
and steroids is that with steroids, you could run a caloric deficit, take the steroid and think you're gaining muscle because you're gaining water. The S23 doesn't put any water on. Every pound that's gained is, is actual muscle tissue that you could actually fill out with water. You could take something to fill it out with water, but it's really, it's like dry muscle. And, and you can see the definition and the hardness in the muscle. Uh, so if I'm gonna take S23, I'm gonna probably take uh, 50 milligrams of the Sarmbalone because I like a really high dosage and I'm going to increase my calories uh, and then get the most of it. Now, if I'm using it for shredding, probably not even gonna go to 50 milligrams because I'll probably, uh, my, my muscles will become glycogen depleted. Instead, I would stick around 30 milligrams of uh, either Sarmbalone or the S23 uh, oral version. All right, thanks again, Tony, for answering these questions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a DM, like I said, or drop them in the comment section. Um, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, go out to Anabolic TV and do the same thing there as well. Go out to at from the yard nation which is a new thing i just popped up um, i'm looking for athletes and coaches so if anyone is interested please just check out the post and follow these steps like i said that was it for today's video thanks a whole lot for watching again it's the white from the yard and i'm out